I'm meteorologist Carl Bonak. Welcome to Upper Michigan Source Weather on Demand for April 16th into the 17th. On the 16th, the high did recover to 31, warmer than uh, tax day. The low, though, five below zero. That is uh, a way uh, uh, below the record low of seven in 1980. And that five below reading turns out to be the coldest so late in the season and the latest below zero reading at the National Weather Service site near Nagani. Records have been kept since 1961, so that's over 50 years. Winter storm warning for the western half of Upper Michigan into north central and northwestern Wisconsin, farther east and south, and advisory. In the far eastern UP, there is no advisories or warnings up. That's because of this uh, storm system. Rain from uh, the Twin Cities to the south, most of the precipitation occurring in the cold sector of this uh, storm. So the uh, snow has been falling pretty heavily from uh, just north of the Twin Cities to near Duluth into the western UP and now the north central. There has, at least as of uh, evening, been very little over the eastern UP and drier air is working up into the south central to limit snow, at least during the nighttime hours. Here's what we're thinking. That low will weaken as it moves into central Wisconsin. However, it'll still produce precipitation. Thursday morning, some pretty good snow should be going over a good share of the upper peninsula. Maybe some rain mixed in in the far south as warmer air comes up ahead of the weakening low on southerly winds. Then by evening, that low should be up over northeastern Lake Superior. We expect a lot of clouds in its wake, maybe a few flurries or a bit of drizzle. Slowly, high pressure will then build in. High temperatures on Thursday should range from around freezing in the far northern UP, low to mid 30s over the rest of the upper peninsula in the north, and then the upper 30s over the southern UP. On Friday, the low moves farther away. The high pressure area builds in out ahead of it. We'll still have a north component to the wind. Clouds may be slow to clear, but gradually they'll break up as this high gets closer. On the back side of the high, southerly winds will cause a warm up in the northern plains. And as the high moves off to the east, south winds will start to pick up to begin the weekend. As far as snow amounts, here's what we're thinking. It looks like uh, the heaviest will fall over the far western UP. In the east and far south, the least, in fact, around Menominee, there may not be all that much accumulation at all. A couple of inches around Newberry, the Munising area could see about uh, four or five, the way it looks right now, around Marquette. Uh, maybe a half a foot and as you move westward from there, heavier snows are expected. 6 to 12 will be common over much of the western UP into the Copper Country and in the Gogibic Range around Ironwood up into the Porcupine Mountains the most. 12 to as much as 17 inches of snow out of this storm. Your TV six day forecast. Look for high temperatures to still remain in the 30s basically to around 40 in the south on Friday. Clouds will gradually break up. They'll move back in again on Saturday and there is a chance of rain before the day is out.